Once we're happy with the layout we've created, we can move on to our electrical layout. The first thing we want to do is select an inverter. Again, we have a cloud-based database of all inverters you might want to use, and if it's not included, we can add it for you easily. Pick the inverter you'd like to use and then select Insert. You can place your inverter anywhere inside your project. Based on the inverter you've chosen, as well as the module that's in your layout, PVCAD calculates for you string lengths based on equipment voltage as well as temperature limitations for your location. If you'd like to override these suggestions, you can simply delete this number and type in your desired string length. In this instance, I'm going to select a string length of 10. There are a few ways you can string in PVCAD. The first is string auto. String auto is looking for your specified string length and your specified string direction. When I select my entire array, it will find all strings that meet these requirements. You'll notice there are some strings that were not strung. Obviously, there's more than enough for an extra string here, but the string would have to change direction to complete the string, and therefore string auto will not string it. For these leftover modules, we can use string manual. String manual allows you to define specifically the path of your string. I'm going to additionally use the fence command. Using the fence command, I'm going to trace a line through my modules. You'll see that my strings followed the path of my drawn line. It's omitted the last four modules because it wasn't a complete string. Before you start stringing, PVCAD will notify you how many complete strings you have. If you'd like to add a different length string to complete it, you can simply remove a string by selecting the string and selecting remove string. You can change your string length. In this case, I'll override and create a 14 string length. And then restring those modules. Once I'm happy with how everything's strung, I can begin to connect all of my pieces of equipment. Additionally, I'm going to insert a single AC panel. When creating single line diagrams, PVCAD is searching for one point of connection through one AC panel. It will not be able to generate a single line if you have less than one AC panel or more than one AC panel. Next, I'm going to connect my strings into my inverter. You'll notice that each string is connected from the positive and the negative end into my inverter with unique wires. I'll do this again with my remaining strings on the other side of my design. Once I'm happy with how everything's connected into my inverters, I can connect my inverters into my AC panel. I'm selecting AC circuit conductor, selecting both of my inverters and my AC panel. You can see that conductors have now been connected between the AC panel and the inverter.